Gang, the middle class famous tour is about to be in full effect. Woo! Come out and see us. It's a great way to introduce some new people to the show. So grab the homies, grab the ladies, the birds, the bozos, everybody, and come see us. Yeah, guys, we're going to be in Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. We ain't done yet. Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just the first leg of the tour. Going to be coming, so get the techies. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm-hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Antony's basement. She is a buzz upstairs. Uh-huh. So excited about our guest. I have not seen her this happy. She's on the phone. She's telling the girls. She's cleaning. I assume it's the guest. It could be the half a bottle of cough medicine that went missing. <laughs> it could be that. I'm not really sure. Uh-huh. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's the CEO, the CFO, and the COO. And the last man to do that, I think, was Jack Wells from General Electric. Yeah. He's an international businessman. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Hey, Everybody. gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate you subscribe on iTunes, full video available on YouTube, and as you know, those numbers are true to roof. Cooking, and obviously, uh, I'm contractually obligated by law to mention the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash garbage. Check it the fuck out, ladies and gentlemen. Love that money. Mm-hmm. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes us all look good. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McButtons, everybody. Well, uh, we're about to have a good ass time, boys. Yeah, we're about to it. have fun. Gang, we are all late. We're, 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 we're freaking this out. This is why we play. We are so excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. He is one of the funniest, one of the most successful stand up comedians and podcasters working today. The man literally needs no introduction. He is the host of the Tim Dillon Show. I feel like I'm on Shark Tank right now. I'm freaking <laughs> the fuck out. Give it up for Tim Dillon, everybody. Hey, Thank Timmy. you. Let's go. Thank God this worked out because me and H. Foley just would have been going out for the same roles. <laughs> the same depressing, like, crooked cop, dock yeah. worker, bloated body in the uh-huh. river. Like just I just s- read for that. What yeah, are you talking just, about? Just sad. Like, thank God we can do this. Because it was, when I was not doing this, it would just be five fat guys in a room. Yeah, in midtown All somewhere, staring at yeah. each other being like, there can only be one. And you would just, they would literally, you'd go in like I auditioned for the Sopranos movie. You'd it, Literally, they'd just bring you in. Who'd you'd you wait, read for for that? Just some cop. Okay. Just some guy. That I you, read for the mayor oh, of Newark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just walk in after an hour of sitting there and they go... They say, and then you do go, it drop gun. your weapon. They go, do it again. <laughs> drop your weapon. They're like, all right. Yeah. I remember outside the stand one time, we had just moved to New York, and uh, you walked out, and you go, well, there I am, and just pointed at Foley. <laughs> you go, that's me. All right. And then I left New York. Yeah, I said, <laughs> and then I gave it to him. I said, a better fat guy Foley will take it. And then the pizza guy rolls came yeah. flowing in. Yeah. A fat guy has to relieve you from your job. <laughs> just tap you yeah. like, a, like a dealer. Just taps you out, yeah. and then you go, and then you that's leave. Me. See me punch in, you punch yeah. out, take uh, off. <laughs> Buddy, we can't thank you enough for coming in. Oh, thank you this. for having me. Love the hoodie, Polo. Look at this him. This is a 3XL from DXL. Yes, sir. Oh. Who does not sponsor me, but should. And what's great about when they make clothing for fat people is they go, why do we make it loud? Yes. <laughs> and let's give them fatigues because they're not in the military sure. and can't be. <laughs> but if they feel everything is the military when you're at a certain weight, everything is an obstacle yeah, course. Serve it, yeah. So they have this. And I don't know if you noticed, but these are polo horses. I did in notice the that. Oh, that's yeah. pretty classy. Yeah. Oh, it's classy. It's real DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> I got another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, what is the origin story of Tim Dillon? Tell me the whole. Tell me the whole piece. I mean, Long you know, Island kid, Long Island guy. You know, mom's a schizophrenic, dad's a failed musician, cocaine at thirteen. Uh, you know, smoke weed, love the ciggies, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> boozed it hard. Uh, that is all know, checks out. C average. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Public school up at the Holy Trinity. 
Catholic school, but really a public school with uniforms, one of the lower tier yeah. Catholic schools. You know, our, our theater arts teachers would make out with kids in the, in the <laughs> hall. Like that type of school. Everybody's having fun. Yeah. Played it fast and loose What's over funny there. about that is that's true. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. Yeah. Um, no brothers or sisters? No brothers or sisters. What about cousins? Was there a big family There's, around? Um, one just died choking on a sandwich. Other one's a heroin <laughs> addict. I mean, I swear no, to Christ. That's not true. I swear to God. What kind of sandwich? Do you know? We don't know. It was a godfather for sure. Other yeah. one's a heroin addict. Uh, other one, you know, they're all, it's all bad. Mm-hmm. I am a, a gay ex cokehead <laughs> comedian. I'm the most successful <laughs> by far. Yeah, sure. Like, it's not even close. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, dad was going to be a musician. That didn't work. Uh-huh. What did he actually do, though? What did he, he do sang. For he wrote songs and sang. How was, was he? A, how were you paying the rent and the mortgage and stuff like he that? He was a wine salesman. Okay, that's probably all right. right though. So he was. He did that. Uh-huh. You know, he did that, and then uh, my mother was a swim teacher. Cool. She taught swimming. She wasn't really rolling in the dough. <laughs> Le- le- <laughs> two words Legacy money um, well, I, feel like those lessons, yeah. I feel like those lessons Took place in an above ground no, pool she, for sure. she collected <laughs> Beanie Babies and Hess trucks oh. To even it out The keystone of trash Yeah, Do you get a Hess truck every out. year? Oh, oh yeah Sometimes it had a helicopter <laughs> yeah. yeah Those things are alright man As long as the batteries were good When, clean when you come from the type of human filth I do <laughs> Your idea is that You will be saved by some kind of collection Collectible. Yes. <laughs> like, State quarters are yeah, big. Like most people put their effort or energy into like some type of functional business. But my mother and many people like her felt that like if you waited on a long enough line, yeah. money was on the other end of it. Sure. Like if you just stuck it out in a line at Burger King to get the fucking commemorative Disney Little Mermaid toy set and you mm-hmm. got 10 of them and wrapped them in plastic and put them under the bed. Jesus. One day, that's your, your ship was going to come in. That's is your that 401k still, right there. Is that stuff still out there? Is that still somewhere? All During Hurricane them? Sandy, a lot of it <laughs> floated down the street. Like you saw like Princess Diana bears and stuff just floating down the street. Hurricane <laughs> Sandy finally, I think, was the nail in the coffin. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jesus Christ. But every man. now and then, my, my uncle will go on eBay and sell one or two Beanie Babies so we could give my mother money at the mental institution. <laughs> Is it too dark? I'm sorry. We've just started. <laughs> hey, you're getting the golden plane this Should we even call this, this Are You Garbage? <laughs> Should we even put a uh, no. question mark? No. Was McDonald's Monopoly a big deal? McDonald's Monopoly was huge. Big. My friend's parents collected Marlboro Miles. Damn. Hey. I mean, As it's, did my family. Yeah, like, they had... Coats. They had a tent. Yeah. They Sleeping had a bag. Yeah. They had an entire outdoors. Yeah. A canteen. <laughs> they had a Marlboro canteen. My friend Shea Magoulahan. <laughs> so, Italian kid. Yeah. So just to give you an idea. It's uh, yeah. Yikes. What yeah. was the house? Was a single family home? Single family home, two stories. Not a bad house. We had an in ground pool. That's good because my mother taught swimming in it. Okay, oh, okay. which is uh, which was nice. She like did it the, at the house. She did it at the house. Damn. That's the equivalent of cutting hair in the garage. Yeah, yeah. That's tough. every now and then she she would also do it in the the rec. She'd do it at the rec sure. center. But she was like, you know, you get the private money sure. yeah, yeah, in the yeah. house. The money's yeah, in the in calls. Yeah, yeah, doing side work. Hey, listen, when we can come- do it at the rec center, <laughs> or we can lower it a little bit. I pocket most of the cash. We just shocked the pool. Come on over. So that's where uh, that's where they were at. Not big savers of money. Mm-hmm. Where did where, where where did they come from? Were they so how, they, how my, back is the Irish? Forever. So my grandfather <laughs> came over to this country when he was four on a boat. Okay. Uh, he was really successful. He ended up being like a millionaire, multimillionaire, general contractor. Worked his way up. Dad's from dad, being homeless. mom's dad. Yeah, dad's dad. Okay. And my father inherited absolutely none of the ambition, drive, <laughs> intelligence, grit, determination, or longing for his family to have a better life. <laughs> my dad got none of that. He uh, he did like a, a couple of cocktails, but he didn't inherit anything else. My father's um, family. A little bit of money, but again, it was the old generation where you didn't get any of it. Mm-hmm. Right. So you didn't get any of it. A lot of it went to the church. My mother's father damn. died of a heart attack because he was big into amphetamines. Okay. Big into taking, he was a drunk and he took pills. Jesus. And then my mother ahead of his time. My know, mother's shit. mother was a saint. My grandmother, who I loved, who like helped raise me, 
she raised two kids, no husband because he had, you know, OD'd or whatever. And then <laughs> <laughs> leads with OD or whatever. And happened. then my sure. dad's family had money. My dad's so you ripped family it from had from the money. eulogy. I like it. My dad's family lived in Mutton Town, which is a Really nice part of Long Island where like Jennifer Anthony, uh, Jennifer uh, Lopez and Mark Anthony lived. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. It's like Brookville, Mutton Town. They lived in a really nice, my grandfather had a two acre home, pool, tennis court, all that stuff. Tennis That's the crazy court. thing about yeah. Long Island is how mixed in the money yes. and the trash Yes. Is. Like insane, like Gatsby homes. Yes. Like fucking yeah. the old, some of the yes. oldest money in, in, in the country. And then we have Levittown where Oof. people are falling down on fentanyl. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Right there in a diner. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a real uh, chasm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. That is fucking. So that's the origin. Jesus that's the, And you went to college. No. Well, <laughs> Nassau Community College, and then I dropped out. Okay. I went to Nassau Community College. I was on the debate team. I enjoyed that. You're probably uh, dunking on people. Dunking on people. Yeah. Real good. Real good at that. Um, then I got into selling mortgages mm -hmm. right. because yeah. my, my debate partner had a Range Rover. And I said, fuck, yeah. what do, how do you do this? He goes, you sell mortgages. I'm like, great. So I started that, and then uh, cocaine came back yeah. into the picture Heavy. in a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> Stop by for the weekend. Yeah, and then some pills, a little perk -a doodle do perk -a doodle do that was, probably the top, that was probably in their heyday when pills started really cooking. Yeah, oh, they just, were like no one knew med. anything at that point. My morning routine was a bacon, egg, and cheese, two eggs over medium, salt, pepper, ketchup, bacon, obviously cheese, uh, American cheese Kaiser, on a roll. Kaiser roll. Kaiser roll, untoasted. Got to be soft, unless I will complain. <laughs> um, <laughs> a double tall, non-fat latte. Cause I'm being responsible. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at, and two perk -a doodle dinks, mm -hmm. perk -a doodle doos, perkies, and uh, about eight uh, Newport cigarettes on the way to work. Oh. That's a good morning. It's man. a good, that's a -okay in it's my a book. good breakfast morning. It that helps, makes AM radio all helps right. Helps you shit. You get to the office. You take a shit for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. you, you sit down at your desk for about two minutes. Everything settles. You take a 20, 25-minute shit, and then you come back and start the day. That's all right, dude. And there's a lot of people doing that right now. Shout out to those people. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the people. Oh, man. Taking True American 25 heroes. minute Percocet shit yeah. at work. Yeah. Couple of perks and a cup of coffee in the morning ain't yeah. too shabby. I'll tell you that right now. That <laughs> first was, Bernie's in that. It was Newport's? It was Newport's. I started, you know, and now I'm like back. I go on and off the cigs. It's what do you smoke hard. now? Marlboro Lights every now and then. You got to get a gentleman's glassy. cig. I started with Marlboro Reds that me and my friend Shay would steal out of his mother because they bought by the carton. Yeah. We started with Reds. Then, check this. For no reason at all, we went to basic unfiltered. Jesus <laughs> Christ. This at, guy's a madman. At 13 years old, basic unfiltered just because we were like, fuck it. Why not? Because his grandmother had basic unfit. So then we just got like a bargain. We used to have to stand outside of like a. Uh, of course, like a deli Wiki or something. Mart, yeah. Lazy cow, whatever. Sure. And uh, we'd have to go, hey, can you buy us a pack of cigarettes? And people would, which was nice. Of course, back dude, then, that's how you got back sick. Then, back yeah. then, people would go, hey, man, can you give me a pack of cigarettes? Back then, now nobody would ever do oh, anything. That'd be insane. Me? Back then, people get federal you charges. Vanilla Dodge, yeah. cigs. So we, we, we were basic unfiltered. Then we said, all right, this is fucking old and stupid. We went to Marlboro Menthol Lights. And we, we chilled with those for a while. It's like and, a candy cane. And then the Newport stayed around for the vast majority of... Um, uh, and then I switched off the Newports because they were tough. I went back to Marlboro Reds and then eventually to Marlboro Lights. Mm -hmm. There you go. I, we did we did noobs too. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, you're like 14. You because they're, they're around. They're, well, they, they they're around the people. They had good marketing back in the day too. Yeah. They made those beach parties look well, all right. They also yeah, they tell did. you that it, it increases your high 15. percent uh, It does have a yeah. Newport. They after. tell you because of the fiberglass, it takes you to the next. That's level. right. Yeah. And it, cuts it does. The, it cuts it. It cuts your lungs. It does. Yeah. If you smoke weed, if you're watching this, you're a kid. <laughs> if you smoke weed. It's a family show, Tim. <laughs> smoke a Newport afterwards. Because it just puts you in that right frame. Sure, of course, of course. That and a diet now, snapple. when you when people would buy you cigs, you would stand out there and wait, and you would like you could always tell by the car, like whatever car pulled yeah. up, you're like this guy's a fun. This Was guy there a main it. guy that you that you knew? No, it, we would just stand outside, and it's horribly embarrassing when they say no. We're 14 years I know. old, worst. and they're like, no, I can't do that. And we're like, 
You could always tell. We would all, if a guy if a guy got out and left his car running. You're like that guy will buy. It's a good sign. Somebody sure. smoking was a good sign. Oh, yes, and of we would give them five great. bucks. A pack was probably like two seventy five or three bucks. Yes. You go, you can keep the change. We'll give you five. You yeah. can keep the change. I'd almost get you a pack. There's something so in it for you. Do, you wet your beak. We used to go, hey, go in there. <laughs> get get me two vanilla Dutchers and two packs of Newports. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, thank you so much. Yeah. And then if they said yes, we'd be like, fuck yeah. And then I remember one time, <laughs> this was great. This was literally, this is where we go like this, we go. Hey, because they also had sandwiches. We go, can you just <laughs> grab us a give me sandwich? Give me a meatball sub, will you? The guy goes, I'm not getting you a fucking sandwich. He goes, you can get a fucking I'm like, well, you're already in there. There's no point of both He's of us like, being in there. I'm not getting you Light on the mail, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of sun chips for the yeah. gang, too. So eventually, uh, you know, he just came and got us a six. But yeah, and then eventually. Get me a sandwich. And then eventually we got the guy in town. Who didn't care? Yeah, of course, the, uh, the, the 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 guy who just sold you the six. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you find that guy for sure. You find the guy. So day to day basis, your mom and your mom and dad were taking care of you and stuff like that. So you said your grandmother kind of raised you. you. Well, my mother and father were doing what boomers did, which is like they put you on a school bus. Mm-hmm. Sure, they drop you off at a thing. They go, "Good luck. We wish you well." I was an actor when I was. Uh, they thought I was going to make money as an actor mm-hmm. as a kid. I was a good looking little kid, so they're like. Now, they didn't have the wherewithal to pimp me out yeah. like they should have. You know what I mean? They tried I, to play it straight. They tried to play it straight. <laughs> bad movie. They should have just sent photos of my ass <laughs> all over Hollywood. But I was a bad actor. I'm trying to book a role here. Hey, I was come a on, bad show actor. A skin. I had this voice at seven. It was horrible. I was Anybody like, got a light? Yeah. I was, I was like a cute kid, and I'd walk in, and I, I would audition for like big movies, like Man of the House with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. They'd be like, all right, so now- you're going out with your dad, and he's divorced, and you know you you're connecting with him again, and but you feel awkward, and I grip, get the script, and I'd be like, okay, I'd be like, mom is okay, <laughs> I'm okay too, and then they would be so horrified, so I didn't book anything for years, but that's what my parents thought their get out of jail free was card. You, was you were their you beanie baby. You were, you were the next beanie, beanie baby. baby. Yeah. I was the next Hess truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the grocery store that you went to growing up out there? Food Town. Food Town. Oh, yikes. yikes. Food Town. Not good. Food Town. Were there frequent good. meat farms out there? No, I don't think there was a meat farm. We, there was either a wall bombs, but growing up, it was Food Town. That's mm. bad. Yeah. Jesus. Why, you that... don't like, you don't want to get some Briar's Viennetta? <laughs> no. Remember the Briar's Buddy. Viennetta? You would slide. Yeah. Come that on. was <laughs> that, when that thing hit. They were marketing exclusively to trash. Dude. Oh, yeah. Exclusively <laughs> to trash. When somebody, every once in a while, somebody would show up for dinner on a weekday, and that thing would come out of the fucking freezer, Ooh. and you would think we were at fucking Le Cirque in the yeah. corner. Table, yeah. Sitting next to fucking Madonna. Yeah. yeah. You hear the crack when you yeah. sliced yeah. it open. Yeah. Very Woo! fancy. The thing about the Briars Viennetta is basically they like they were marketing to people. They go, you're not going to be able to afford to go anywhere with a V. Vegas, Venice, nothing. <laughs> this is the only V word you'll ever, Volvo, nothing. Nothing, yeah. This is the only word with a V you'll ever say in your life. Dude, they made the commercial. There was people smoking in the commercial. Yeah. They made it look so classy. But you know what I used to like? I used to love a little Jello no bake. A Jello no bake. I don't even know what that is. A no bake pie. A no bake pie. Yeah. A Jello awesome. no bake pie where you would just. You would just kind of whip up a pudding, mm-hmm. put cookies uh, in it, yeah, and bad. then let it sit. Yeah, and it was nice. But you know about I, dirt? Yeah, my aunt used to make it every year for, for, <laughs> for like she still did. We're all thirty. <laughs> We're all thirty and out of rehab. I got the gummy worms. Yeah. She's making dirt. She put gummy worms oh, in it. Did like, she do man. it in like a like a planner? Like fancy people would put it. They'd go to the store buy like a planner. Yeah, she would put to it make in it there. Look like real dirt. It was yeah. disgusting, and I would tell her, <laughs> I'd go. Where somebody people getting out of rehab here for dope. Uh, it's not cute. It's not cute to eat dirt. They're eating literal dirt. They're eating literal dirt. They they're living in flop houses. They're sucking dick for smack. Sure. I don't think the we dirt's need... not cutesy yeah. anymore. Yeah. It's not fun to pretend that we don't have anything. Yeah. Hang hang back with the cookie puss, will you? Trying to get my head on straight with a couple cigarettes and a stiff drink. No shit. Why did we think that was cool, dirt? Because we're trash. I saw it at a birthday party. It, it was blew cool my fucking kid. mind. When you were when kid, I found out there was, was cool. gummy worms in there. I fucking called my mom. I'm Anytime like, you would see a cake, I remember a friend of mine had a cake with a wave on it. Whoa. Yeah. Like a wave yeah, cake. We, yeah, that wasn't Anytime us. Anytime you saw a cake like that, you're like, how do you feel about the yeah. cookie cake? 
The cookie cake. Like, remember back in the day they got big? They started, I'm, I like it. It's not enough. <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't like anything. It's not. That's the most honest uh, answer I've ever yeah, heard. To me, cookies are not uh, the thing. They're a thing to enjoy. It's like, like an appetizer. A plate of cookies are like, you're on the dessert line, and you're trying to just keep yourself good until you sure. sit down. Sure. Cookies are not, like, the cookie cake, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Now you put ice cream in the middle, like, you got to. You got to jazz it up a little yeah. bit. Three layers and up at the Foley House, yeah, I'll tell yeah. you that. You we were big on the watermelon roll from Friendly. Oh, that was another junk. That, that was that was a treat. That was During stuff. mortgages, when everything was really hitting the ground quickly, <laughs> I would stop at a Friendly's do a Jim Dandy at two o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> just a five scoop Jim Dandy <laughs> at two o'clock in the afternoon alone. <laughs> What's a Jim Dandy? It's a five scoop Sunday from Friendly's <laughs> with any type of ice cream you choose. It had fudge, strawberry, marshmallow, yeah, whipped yeah, cream, yeah. sprinkles, banana. It was a fucking Jim Dandy. It was fantastic. It was like Jim was. Dandy. <laughs> Friendly's was all right. That was a big fribble Friendly's man back in the day. Friendly's was great. A good fribble. They made a good burger, too, good back fribble. in the day. A good fribble. They made a good burger. Knew their way around a steak fry. They were yeah, all I right. I mean, I'm not throwing a New England clam chatter out of my mouth if I'm in <laughs> Friendly's. Get a little clam strip in there. I loved Friendly's. Kip, let's talk about Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Let's talk about it, baby. Let's talk on the phone. Want to know why you can talk on the phone? Why is that? Because they're not banging you over the head with contracts, hitting fees, this, that, the other thing. Mm -hmm. You're not going to believe it. 15 a month. That's how they're doing it over there at Mint Mobile. $15 a month. Not too shabby. If one of your goals for 2022 is to stop paying insane amount of bills every month uh, for wireless, switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. Mm -hmm. Like the big man said, just 15 bucks. Uh, with Mint Mobile, you choose the amount of monthly data that is right for you, and stop paying data that you stop paying for data that you never use. Genius. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan to keep your same phone number along with all your existing contracts or contacts. There's no need for you know hey, switching over, go reset the thing, plug it in, pl pull it out, bam. Like I've said, my wife's been using it for years. She's a big fan. It's easy peasy. Why sign up for you know one of those big box contracts where they, you got your kids? In college or whatever. <laughs> got you hold over the coals. They, that's where they get you. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 beans a month uh, and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. Mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, let's talk about movement, baby. Movement. Talk about movement. The romantic season is in Ooh. the air. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Steamy. Movement knows that. They're already looking out for you. If you got to pick up your best guy, your best gal, or whoever, got to pick them up something for Valentine's Day. Think about a nice watch. Think about a nice ceramic uh, bracelet that they got over there. Yeah, they got 18. Site-wide sale. 18 carat fine jewelry pieces, special edition styles, stuff you're not going to find anywhere else but movement. Look at that. Uh, and you can save on these gifts right now. Just choose a watch and a matching accessory and get immediate 20% off your order, plus free shipping and free returns as always. Woo! They got us. We're, we got the gear. We each oh, got a watch. Yeah. We got the glasses. My lady uses the glasses. Watch sunglasses the whole night. I'm I'm dripped out over here. They keep you. Yeah, the drip is fresh, and it ain't. Nice. And it and it don't break the bank. Very affordable. That's their whole thing. Looking good for affordable. Shop twenty percent off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash garbage. Go to mv mvmt.com slash garbage for your most stress free Valentine's Day gift giving. Mvmt style shouldn't break the bank. Join the movement. Do it. Yeah, I loved Carvel. Carvel, Gee, so which good. I still do. It's the best that guy's soft voice. serve. That ice guy's cream. voice sold yeah. it. Yes, yeah. The best soft serve ice cream in the planet. Great shakes. You got to be an Entenmann's guy too, I presume. Entenmann's was great. My favorite. Ent there's a few Entenmann's, but the one that I really like. There's a few of them that are really good. There's a chocolate chip cake. There's an mm, Entenmann's chocolate chip that. cake. Well, first of all, there's the Entenmann's devil's food with that's, the marshmallow I mean, that's icing. It. That's, that's it. Ridiculous. That's it. Devil's food that's with the marshmallow icing. Now, let me tell you what you do with that. <laughs> you hold it. You, you freeze it. You let it get frozen. You hold it upside down so that the icing is like a plate. And then you eat the cake on top yeah. after it's been frozen. You, and, and it helps to be high, and it helps to be unemployed. <laughs> a couple you, of newbies, too. You want to focus. I did that with Tasty Cakes. I would always eat them upside down because yes. you want the icing. And I want that to hit my tongue. You want it to eat like sushi. Good sushi. They tell you fish first. Yeah. Same thing.
I remember I found out I was watching an ice cream documentary one time. Uh, not that long ago. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? What? What? We're supposed to be on a diet. We just yeah. got you a trainer. And they showed you the proper way to eat ice cream. They said, "Don't use the spoon down because the cold spoon hits your tongue. Yeah, and it, it desensitizes uh, yeah. your taste buds. It's better to flip it over. Yeah, I've been flipping ever since. People like me and Ace Foley, like the trainer starts very like we're gonna, and then like like a month in, the trainer's like, <laughs> <laughs> the trainer's like. Just when you're out to dinner, if you, because it starts with like, we're not eating out, we're doing this, we're planning meals, we're putting them in Tupperware. <laughs> then they go like this. It soon it becomes just have one dessert. Yeah. yeah. Like they, they get fat. Share an appetizer. Our, yeah. our trainers start to get fat. Um, but, he literally just said that to yeah, me because yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're leaving to go on the yeah. road for a couple days. He's like, after the show, if you get a burger, have a burger. Don't get the fries. Yeah. Maybe only have half a bun. Half a bun. Well, we come from the worst diet advice ever. Which was like this, like every diet that was pitched in the 90s was like, you can have it all. Mm -hmm. Just be accountable. Yeah. yeah. If you eat that raw cookie dough, just have water mm -hmm. later in the day. <laughs> it all balances out. Snack wall cookies were a big uh, fucking thing. Remember snack balls? They were like, don't deprive yourself. Yeah. I'm like, that's not what we need to hear. We've never deprived <laughs> ourselves. Yeah, 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 never. Don't we deprive never even thought about yourself. it. Yeah. Like my mother, like we talk about this on my show. They all did this thing called Deal a Meal. Where you oh, give so yourself trashy. cards, and then you'd go, "Oh, I get a cheat card, mm -hmm. and I have." Oh. A and then there was stop the insanity. This this lesbo Susan Powder <laughs> with shaved head, and she'd be like, "Just eat whatever, just do this." And so, like my fat mother and her friends would do this <laughs> in the living room. And then there was Richard Simmons, and then oh, there was Jenny, man. Jenny Craig, Nutrisystem, sure. fucking the Slim Fast, Slim everything. Fast, Curves, Thigh Master, Master, Thigh Master, Shake Weight, oh, the whole everything. nine yards, all of it. Slim Fast was fucking all right. I though. still yeah. like a Slim Fast. Dude, I used to. Ha I didn't know. I used to have them with meals. I thought they were chocolate milk. I, like I used to sit there with a bag of pretzels. So good. And yeah. Slim Fast. They're not bad. No, they're all right. That chocolate one's good. What were the snacks when you were a kid? What would your mom get? What would you have? What was your lunches you like? Free reign of it. Or so what I love, I'm a big sandwich guy. I love like a, a ham and cheese, turkey and cheese, peanut butter and jelly. I love it. I love a cold sandwich. White bread. We're talking white bread, mayonnaise. Uh, Cold sandwich, like kept in the refrigerator from the night before. I kind of liked that, uh, but I was a big school lunch guy. Fish sticks, tater tots, sure. canned Those string tots, beans, man. Um, pizza day on Fridays. Pizza day was awesome. It was amazing. I loved hot dog day. Franks mm -hmm. and beans were Ooh. great. Then I went to a high school. They had chicken parm, meatball. What? Bacon, you had chicken parms bar. at your high school? Yeah, my high school. Did you go to an Olive Garden? What the fuck? <laughs> we had a great food. I would go back to that high school today. Um, I think it's illegal. But I would <laughs> because their their meatball parm, their chicken parm, Damn. their uh, bacon cheeseburgers were fucking amazing. Barbecue chicken sandwich, really good. But snacks growing up, me and my friend were little stoners. Our favorite food ever was barbecue chicken pizza. It had oh. just debuted. And the barbecue chicken pizza. <laughs> we were a test market. The I, remember, I remember when that came out. The barbecue chicken pizza was at this restaurant called Jack's, which later got shut down for selling cocaine. They would sell <laughs> they cocaine. They make the best food, though. When you ordered a white we pie. We had munchies. When you ordered a white pie, it was blow. Literally. Uh, that's and fucking awesome. It was selling cocaine. But we would also go, we'd also, I also want a white pie. Yeah. We want the, <laughs> let me get two, we want, we let want, me get two white pies cocaine, and a chicken bar. We want but we're yeah. starving. Yeah. Um, but the thing with the barbecue chicken pizza, it was just a regular pizza, and they would take breaded chicken cutlets, chop yeah. them up, and throw them in this. Now, I don't know if you've ever had open pit barbecue sauce. Now, oh, open no. pit, I'm going to teach you a lesson of trash. Open pit is, and people can Google it, it is a tangy, metallic tasting, reddish brown. It is the sauce that they serve at most bars with steak tidbits mm -hmm. or with things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It's that kind of, you eat it. And it's you like go, tang. It's real. Yeah, it gets you in here. It gets you in yeah. there. It's a real, most people just don't love it. I've gotten addicted to it. Now, if you heat it up, it becomes like yeah. this chemical. And what they would do is just throw these chicken cutlets. They toss it with this open pit, which I've become addicted to, and just throw it on the regular pizza and then hit it with another layer of mozzarella. So you get this regular oh. slice of pizza, sausage cheese. On top of that, Man. just barbecue chicken and, the chi and you were just killing it. So we would love that. That was a big... Thing for us. I just want to go on a record real quick and say this is the greatest episode ever right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking rock hard yeah. as we speak. When we you all... said they hit it with another layer of mozzarella, my <laughs> eyes rolled back in my head. We loved when we would get high because we get high. 
And we would love uh, the original grilled stuff burrito at Taco Bell. The original, yeah. which had the creamy pepper jack sauce. <laughs> Remember the original? I've tweeted at them. I've written the letters. original menu at Taco Bell was oh, fucking top shelf. Bring back the grilled stuff burrito. And then the original Monterey Ranch chicken sandwich at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> he's lighting up when he's talking about this. Bacon stuff. in the ranch. Oh. Chopped up bacon in the ranch. It was in a gold wrapper. Fuck you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a... a That's uh, what they a, tried to class chicken it Chicken patty, Monterey whatever thing, cheese. Monterey Jack. Monterey if, Jack, yeah. If it was that. Um, and Monterey Jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and then ranch with bacon in it. It was... Yeah, Jeez. it was something else. Those were the things I remember growing up. Obviously, I loved McDonald's filet of fishes. I loved a Roy Rogers fixin' bar. Ooh, I loved a pizza they don't hut. Get enough love. A Pizza Hut lunch buffet. Oh, Hutt come school, on. Going a to one of them. Pizza Hut lunch buffet. Saying all the right things. They were baby. like three ninety five or something. It was, it was so like cheap. Four dollars and you could eat for the week. Mm-hmm. And then they had a dessert pizza, a little caramel apple dessert pizza. Yeah, of course. I mean, Christ. <laughs> what, what was the going out to dinner situation for the Dillons as a kid? What would be a well, big so night? Well, so my uncle was a big restaurant guy. So every okay. now and then we'd get to go into one of his where restaurants you get it? in the city. Yeah, so that's, where you get that's what's so interesting yeah. about you. You're from that, but you have I have some very really high-end high taste. taste. You do. I have some high-end taste because my uncle is a big restaurant guy, so we used to get to go... We used to get to go to restaurants and eat really nice food every now and then. Would it be known that it's we're going out with Uncle oh, so yeah. and so? And would the parents go or he would take you? The parents would you go. Would the parents go, okay. would, we'd all go. The family. Sure, sure, the whole sure. Family. But everybody knew he was paying. Oh, yeah. Everyone knew that they didn't have to pay. <laughs> That's why they were going. Everybody knew. <laughs> but then, so a big night out for us would be like, you know, maybe my parents hated each other. So it was rare that they'd both go out. But when they both go out, it would be to some local diner uh, or a place called Itkins in Valley Stream, which was like an old, you know, like an old like malt shop, an old ice cream parlor, sure. great ice cream. Sock it to me Sunday, 15 scoops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. A lot of people would eat it. Yeah. Oh, oh you're yeah. sharing a the fucking- table? Every, everything but, but the kitchen sink Sunday. <laughs> yeah. It would be 15 scoops. Um, a little bacon ranch on there. Yeah. <laughs> it was wild. They would go to, usually it would be a diner. Okay. Or a, maybe a little Greek place or a diner or a place called McQuaid's. Ooh. Like a birthday dinner, like a, a graduation bar. dinner. Uh, what are we thinking? Maybe an Italian spot. Okay. We were big any on the chains? B- Applebee's, Olive Oil. Fridays. Any- Ooh. So we grew up Fridays. with Fridays. Uh, for- and Outback a little towards the Outback Ooh. came in later. Sure. Fridays was, was a go-to. That- the Tostado Nachos, where you split a taco shell down the middle, hit it with refried the cheese. Um, that sandwich. Fridays, all right. when, they, when they brought out the Jack Daniels pulled pork sandwich, it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I get it. The Jack Daniels menu. That was your 9 11. The Jack <laughs> Daniels. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> Every week. The Jack Daniels menu at Fridays made me know what was possible. <laughs> in a way, There's life outside of Long Island. Yeah, in a way that I couldn't understand. I was like, why yeah. is this so fucking good? I, don't I know what they put you, you want to hear an order? This is my order of Fridays. You want to get? I'd go in there. I was as an adult or as a kid? As a child. Jesus. <laughs> this is what I used to do. <laughs> Listen, honey, get your pad and paper out and get over here. <laughs> You're tostado, not remember all tostado this. nachos. Salad with, because I love the Friday salad because they loaded it with cheese, croutons, uh-huh. bacon. That shredded and, cheddar cheese. And then cheese. you get the breadsticks. Salad with ranch. Like a tostado nachos. Sandwich. Salad with ranch. Pulled pork sandwich that comes with french fries. Add on to that the loaded baked potato. Oh. Now, the loaded baked potatoes. What little kids get the loaded baked potato? <laughs> How's the divorce going, yeah. buddy? A smart. <laughs> Holy shit. A smart one, because here's what I would do. I would get the extra Jack Daniels sauce, and it would go right into the potato. <laughs> and then, like, you have this loaded baked potato with Jack Daniels sauce. It's still every now and then, if I'm on the road, I'll go into Friday's, get a loaded mash, throw some Jack Daniels sauce on there, and eat it. Jeez. What are your parents saying when you're, when you're making this order? They're kind of just fine with it. They're just like impressed that I can order. I'm like, you know, a lot of kids are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them what you want. That kind of thing. You're you know, speaking a, a in lot French. Of, a lot of kids are like, 
sure. You know, so at least you're like, he can talk. Uh huh, yeah. You know? Uh. I'm like, are the tostada nachos? <laughs> are they good today? Um, Who's cooking? But you know, they, the answer to that is they were horrible parents. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like the 90s, like, That's that was, was wide open. At. No, the 90s, listen. Nobody the, cared. The boomer, and I'm, I'm working on a book right now about boomers and the way they parented. And it's really like, Amazing to watch the difference between the way we were parented it's and the crazy. Way kids are parented oh, now. Oh, it's nuts. My parents might have said a few times, hey, you should go to college, but they took no interest. Like the idea of like them like going around to schools and with being you like, for like the weekend and Oh, yeah. wouldn't won't you have fun here? You'll like it here. Like they were such deeply selfish people <laughs> that had no designs on me becoming a productive human being. At all. <laughs> they were incredibly selfish, you know, um, you know, morally questionable <laughs> demons from hell. We basically were just sharing. Sounds like a nice little Saturday. Yeah. I, like it. I mean, you know. You guys were like roommates. We were ro- We were just kind of like hanging out. Yeah. We're just hanging out. Mm-hmm. I get it. No, yeah, for sure. I remember even like thinking. I don't even think I went on visit. I went to. I visited one college. I think by myself. Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes in my grandmother's house yeah. when I was like thirteen, fourteen, just in the house. Did she know? They knew. She knew. Yeah, I would smoke cigarettes in the house. They didn't care. Holy they didn't care. Shit. Yeah, that's fucking. My bold. friend's mother used to let us do coke, weed, everything. Everybody. My parents didn't do that. They hated drugs. Everybody's got that one friend's house. Yeah. Where you walk oh, yeah. in. And you're like, oh. I was. I remember sitting in some being like, I shouldn't fucking be here. Right. This is bad. Right. This is this not is not great. Yeah. You're always thinking like, when are your parents coming home? Yeah. yeah. They just never. And be then around. they're home and they're, yeah, they're, they're like, they're upstairs. Doing drugs with us, yeah. and we're like, oh, <laughs> you guys. Got my a white friend's pie? mother was a prostitute. Really? And she made a lot of money in the really? '70s in a city high end call girl and bought a house and everything. Great. Good looking. Like yeah. she was uh-huh. then. Uh huh. She knew how to. She knew how to. Package the goods. And she said, clean the pipes. Uh. <laughs> Her words, not mine. <laughs> Over a white pie. I yeah. Like it. All right, let's get into some cues here because we want to find yeah. out where you stand on a lot of stuff. Yeah, we, yes. we, yeah you're going to set, you, you know, we claim to be experts at it, but you you can really set the tone or set I those. Can, I can you hang. You can lay the wall. Yeah. With certain things. Before that, though, what was your first stupid purchase when you got, when you, when, when you got money? What was the first A Range thing? Rover, and I sold it. Months later. Really? Because with the supply chain, you yeah. can sell it pretty easily. I just realized, I'm like, it was way too much money for a car. Um, and How was, long ago was this? This was somewhat recent. Oh, a year ago. Really? Yeah, and I just realized, I'm like, I don't care that much. Uh, immediately, you go, I don't care. Like, I drive it for a while. It's nice. Great fucking car. But then I go, eh, I don't need it. I'd yeah. rather have the money for other shit. What is it now? What are you whipping around in? Right now, I just have rentals, but I think I'm going to get an electric. Okay. I'm going really? to like an electric, a Rivian. Wow. One of those new ones. I, I got on a list for that. A list? A yeah. List. Damn. A list. Dude, he's in a different, he's in a different category. No more Jack Daniels sauce for this kid. <laughs> I'll tell you that right well, no, now. Well, no, in the Rivian. Yeah, Jack he just Daniels goes quietly now. But it's, uh, it's uh, not that expensive. It'll be a lease that, that you know, you'll, you, you, uh, you'll pay the lease through your business. Of course. Smoke you know? in the car? Well. I mean, when you lease, you can't. <laughs> I like how that's what you're worried about. Yeah, like that's going to come Somebody back. Somebody at the Ford dealership yeah. coming after you. Well, I don't know. I mean, we're try- I'm trying to stop. I stop for months, and then I go back, and then I start. Mm-hmm. Eating yeah, the start. car. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you that's just Those baked potatoes answer. don't hold, that's all right? That's the best answer ever. I mean, you have to. I did it. It's, yeah. my, my favorite thing is going to the drive-thru with the radios on, listening to something, and I'm just fucking drive through food, if you eat it in your home, you feel insane. That's I never That's, got that. I, I mean, pull up and park right away yeah, and eat absolutely. it. absolutely. Right oh, away. Yeah. If you bring it to your house and un- like, unwrap yeah. it, put it on a plate, kitchen table, you're psychotic. Yeah, Have nuts. you ever seen McDonald's on a plate? That means people are way too comfortable. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you've settled in for this life of hell. Yeah, that's it not looks good. real weird. I've seen it. I've seen McDonald's on a plate. The only one you could get away with a little bit is KFC. Sure, that's it. Yeah, yeah. they it's sold bigger, that hard. Yeah, that's right. Bring it home to the fans. Because it's in bigger fans. portions too. It's not I, in self-serve portions. I mean, I man, KFC honey barbecue wings, which they've discontinued. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, KFC was a beautiful part of it. When they like started the fucking with dessert, when they were giving out whole cakes Well, they used to have something pack. called a little bucket parfait. That, unbelievable. Which there was, was strawberry and there was chocolate. And they were unbelievable. And the chocolate one had... It you guys ordered an off menu? What the fuck's going on here? It was unbelievable. I've never even heard of half it of this shit. unbelievable. Was Sherry here? They got him in the back. It was unbelievable. It had a layer of um, uh, like a graham cracker. On the bottom. Then- Pudding and then a whipped cream and then a uh, the foil on top. Oh, the foil on top. Uh, the chocolate. I've never the chocolate come sprinkle, on. The chocolate sprinkle had just kind of like the dye of the sprinkle. It kind of started bled to out die, a little bit. Bled out a little bit and it bled out onto the whipped cream. That's the flavor. I have offered thousands of dollars <laughs> to get one of them, and I cannot. Like I would buy them. Like I've offered thousands of dollars for it. So if you There's have any leads, some sitting somewhere in a freezer I hope. or something. Kip, you like Helix mattresses? Love Helix mattresses. I'll say it one more time. You like Helix mattresses? No, I love Helix mattresses. That's right. And, of course, we all do because you don't got to wander around some mattress store like a bozo on a Saturday. Doofus. You go over to the website. You take the quiz. It takes about two, three minutes. You're in and out of there. They tell you exactly what kind of mattress would be best for you. Could be you sleep hot. Could be you sleep cold. Could be you're on the bigger side. You need a little more cushion for the pushing like old Hank <laughs> does. They got you covered. Kippy's a client. I know. Uh, they were nice enough to send us one of the good folks at Helix. Me and my wife, like I've said millions of times, took the two-minute sleep quiz. We got the Twilight model. Loved it so much. Queen size. I put on a couple pounds. We upgraded to the king. Look at that. Now we're right swimming there. in a Twilight Helix mattress. Loving life. So first adult mattress I've ever had. Guys, I can't stress it enough. Get involved with Helix if you're in the market for a mattress. Helix is awesome, but don't take our word for it. Helix was awarded number one best overall mattress pick by twenty for 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazines. That's nothing to shake a stick at. GQ, let's go. Uh, multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine offered as a go-to solution for improving sleep. So just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute sleep quiz. And they'll match you with a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life. Helix is offering up to two hundred dollars, two hundred beans, up to two hundred clams off all mattress Yikes. orders, and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com/garbage. One more time, that's helixsleep.com/garbage. Now back to the show. To the show. Now go to a restaurant. I know it's very food heavy. Yeah. Uh, sparkling or still? Still. Really? Like In a that? bottle or tap? I, it depends where I am. New York always tap. Yes. Really? See, thank yeah. you. You're not getting the bottle you know, just for the New show? New York tap is better than everything. Wow. But if always. I'm in L.A. where it's like cancer, then you get still. <laughs> you get a bottle yeah. of still. Bottle. So it's only at a necessity. I figured you'd have a bottle of Pellegrino on the table just for shits no, and giggles. No, I don't like, I don't drink anything with bubbles. Yes. Really? I've never drank soda. I've never drank beer. I was an alcoholic. I drank only hard liquor. Wow. Yeah, I'm stunned right I now. I don't like carbonation. Really? It's odd, but I don't like it. Oh, uh, shit. When you're out to dinner anywhere, will you take a bite and then sip your drink? Do you bite and sip, or do you separate them? No, I kind of eat for a while, and then I'll drink. Then I eat for okay. a while, and then I drink. Here's a big one. Yeah. Go out to dinner. Appetizers hit the table. Appetizers are done. You're sitting there. You got the friends. Everyone's talking, hanging out. Do you think it's okay? To go out for a cigarette and come back before dinner gets there. It is. Okay. No, it's not. I, now, I don't no, do it. No, it's not, dude. Nah, it he's done so. it. It's not. Hey, we agree with whatever animal. he says. Yeah. That's you in know, the fucking is, Bible. No, Toby, cut that. Now, I don't, I don't usually do it. I don't usually do it. It's trashy. It's trashy. Yeah. It's yes. not okay, the right, it's trashy. It's not the right thing to do. But it's nice. But you, it's allowed. It's allowed. I don't know. Listen, I'm from I, I'm from the school of three or four hour marathon dinners where people leave and come and go. That's a little different. Back, they're on the phone. They're getting in fights outside. They come back in. That's what I'm like, talking about. Like you know, about. people have a lot of things going mm-hmm. on. Yeah, you're yeah. waiting on somebody. People, I have friends who would go out and you know do do a 20 minute phone call during dinner and then come back in. You know, like that type of. That type of scumbag. I, I mean, I'll do it with like, what yeah, that type, that of, type scumbag. of scumbag. You know yeah. that guy who There's goes, constantly people fuck, give, me a, give me a minute. And then he's out there and yeah. then he walks back in like nothing happened. Yeah. I had a buddy just recently go, let me know when she gets here. I'm like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not fucking <laughs> calling you outside to come back in so you can place your fucking order. Uh, all right. Uh, I got one for you that we've never really talked about. How do you feel about hibachi restaurants? Hate them. <laughs> hate them. Hate them. Uh, the food's never good. I don't like the show. Okay. And I don't like the people that are into the show. Okay. I'm there to eat. Uh-huh. I don't need a show. I don't want to see the smoke go through the onion. Yeah, sure. Volcano. Cone, volcano, yeah. I'm not, the, none of that's for me. The shrimp tastes like shit. Mm-hmm. Everything sucks. I don't like it. And you would never sit with another party. I, I don't want that. Yeah, okay. All right. Hmm. Where do you stand on splitting the check? Where are you at on Hate that? it. Hate it. Hate it. Okay. Hate it. So what do you do? What's the move? 
you get them the next time. Okay. You get them the next time. Okay. Now, for many years, I was the guy that got you the next time. I there was no it. next yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was not going to be a next Up until time. about three weeks ago, I was that guy. My dad tells a great story about a guy who used to always get everyone at the office to go out for lunch. Go, Let's go here for lunch. You want to go here for lunch? And then you get, you know, everybody would eat. And then the guy would go like this. Go, I'm a little light. <laughs> and then everyone would pay for the guy. And the guy just kept getting away with it. <laughs> I'm a little light is such a dirtbag lie. Oh, yeah, man. Just, I'm a little light. Trying to save a little bit of I'm a little bit light. I'm a little light. I got light. about eight bucks. A little light. What a great line. I'm a little, a little light, light is fantastic. <laughs> That's the yikes. Uh, Anybody in the family addicted to nicotine gum? Ooh, Interesting. I think they all just smoke. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're doing it. Let's fucking do it. What? Yeah, I mean, I don't think. <laughs> no, it's not yeah. pussy. Does folks. most of your family smoke? Uh, they all used to. Some of them have quit. We don't. I don't see them as much anymore. I don't know. Everyone okay. lies. Sure. My family is right. liars. All right, I like that. So they'll say they quit, but no one's quit. Okay. Hmm. Will you tell the waiter it's someone's birthday at the table? No, I hate it when it's someone's birthday. Okay. You don't yeah. sing. No, I don't I don't even care about the fr- cuz you don't even get shit anymore really for it. It used to be like you get something free. Now you don't even get it. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they just go happy birthday and then you don't give me something for free. So fuck you. <laughs> people Truly. who ask is real trashy. Yeah. As, a, as a waiter, I've had people come up, so what do you guys do for people's birthdays? Right, that's trash. Drop yeah. the check, somebody else? <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do for people's birthdays? We pay a month of their rent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, is it your birthday? <laughs> uh, will you stay at a hotel on the first floor? No. <laughs> <laughs> Will you swim in the uh, in the hotel pool? Will you go for a dip? Oh yeah. Okay. Unafraid. Room service, all That's around. That's what we were just talking about. Room service is the reason to stay in a hotel. Really? I've never really been in a hotel that had some, a good setup like that. I mean, here's the deal: there's only a few hotels in America that do it, where they come in with a literal table with china wow. and, and, uh, and a white cloth. You know, and they. I, I mean, the Beverly Hills Hotel, the Mark in New York City. There's a few hotels where they'll bring a porterhouse to the room. Whoa. That's crazy. A porterhouse, some French fries, maybe a quesadilla at 2 a.m. Like <laughs> Beverly Hills Hotel, when I'm staying there in L.A., but now I have my apartment there. I don't have to stay there. But I used to just tell my friends, meet me at my room, and I would just order a shitload of room service. There's something about room service that just feels good. Yeah, it's cozy. It's, awesome. it's fun. It feels good to eat in the room. I feel like you're gaming the system a little bit. That's right. Yeah. Are we still flying coach at all? Never. Really? First class all the time. Are you paying or never, you never bumped again. up? I'll never fly coaching. I'd rather literally die. <laughs> I, mean, I, w- I would rather get on a plane that's crashing in first class <laughs> where I knew it was going to crash <laughs> than sit and coach again. I would never literally. I would get on a plane where they go, this has one engine, the other one we don't know, <laughs> but we're, you're in first. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. No, I'm a big dude. You can't. You co- sure. dude, coaches I, I are it. not fun. I like mm-hmm. it. I like it. I like it. Hmm. Any lottery winners in the family? Anything like that? Sadly, no. My mother used to go like this. She used to tell people, she used to go, you got to buy scratch-offs in bad areas because there's more winners because the government wants to help those people. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, that's a little fun fact right there. That's Holy moly, Mrs. Dillon. That was mama. <laughs> that's, that's next level dirtbag right yeah. there. Uh, will you put potato chips on a sandwich? You know, I never loved it, but I, I'm not against it, but I never okay. loved it. Okay. Okay. I never loved it, but I don't hate it. Do you own an air fryer? Someone bought me one. I've never used it. Okay. How do you feel every about it? Every fat person, supposedly an air fryer has changed your life. Uh, yeah. Because every fat person is on and off keto. <laughs> every fat person. You're talking the to The fattest them. people yeah. you know are on the keto diet. Sure, the sure. fattest people you know. <laughs> if you know, and they all, they go, it's just, you hit it with the air fryer. Mm-hmm. Just hit a pork chop with an air fryer. Nah, I'm not doing it. I don't care much about it. Fuck that. Uh, uh, will you take food on a plane? Like, will you buy it in the terminal? Not really. Okay. Not really anymore. You're eating the airplane food, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll, eat, I'll eat the food on the plane. Okay. You know, okay. it's respectable. I like it. You take your shoes off when you fly? No. Okay. Take your shoes off in anybody's house? Yeah. You do? Some people's house, yeah, sure. What about you? Do you, at your house, is the shoes off? I don't require it, but some people do. Okay. It really depends. It's like, I'm not, I'm not like... A Nazi about There's it. There's not a basket up front by the door. No, like no, that. I'm not a Nazi. I don't, I don't kind of care either way. Okay. What are your thoughts on cauliflower rice? 
I mean, I've tried that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. You don't even mention it by name. <laughs> I've, had, I've had a Poke Bowl. I ran into it at a party. I've had a Poke Bowl in L.A. with cauliflower rice, and it's like this. Ready? Something's missing. It's like, I'm surviving. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what you feel like when you eat it. You go, I am surviving. Mm -hmm. I will survive. Do you fuck with any of the foam dishes that are popular now? Will you go to a place that has the foam dishes? Oh, like a really high-end molecular gastronomy? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. What the fuck was Whoa. that? Oh, that's what the foam is. Yeah. Holy it's molecular shit. molecular gastronomy, meaning that they, they, they change the, uh, you know, the states of food. Yes. They make things into jellies and foams mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah, I'll fuck with it. It's never been my favorite, but I'll, I'll, I'll have a little fun. You're more of an up-the-middle American steakhouse. Well, house. I like a corporate steakhouse. I like a menu that I know by heart, like I know my best friend's secrets. Yeah. Like, I want everything to be the same all the time. If that fucking salad dressing is different, I like a menu where it's, the menu is... Is planned in a boardroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Truly, there's a flowchart about this. Yeah, fucking they also I used missiles. to go to all the high-end restaurants and molecular gastronomy shit like that. Right. I used to do all of that. But now you've settled back, and, and I could still enjoy some of that. But if you ask me, the restaurants that I grew up in that I really love is steakhouses. Okay. Who does it? Shrimp cocktail, line ace potato, ribeye, black and blue, little porterhouse, iceberg, iceberg with a little blue, blue cheese. cheese wedge, a shrimp scampi, a baked clams. Mm -hmm. A little oysters, fucking, Rockefeller. Yeah, I mean that's where I that's where I'm living. All Do right. you think appetizers should be ordered individually, or should they be ordered for the table for and shared? the table and shared? They okay. should never be ordered individually. Do you think it's trashy if multiple people at the same table order the same dish? I would like, go this far. Okay, I almost think at a steakhouse there should be a little meeting up front, and then one person should order for the whole table. We just did that. Yeah, just have a meeting. We just up did front. that. Just have a meeting. Have a little meeting. What do you like? You're medium rare. You're this, you're that. You're rare. You're medium. We'll, we'll compromise it. Medium rare. What do we do? It's just a family style thing. Let's one guy come here. Here are the apps we want. Here are the entrees we want. It is not an individual thing. I think you order steak for the table, sides for the table. Yes. That to me is the steakhouse experience. Timmy D. That's what I believe. Kids are That's right. what I believe. And, Kids are and, right. Yeah. You know, and so that's what you, I was taught. If you go out to dinner, if you if you're bringing your friends out to dinner, it's Tim's dinner. Yeah, are you are you you're leading that charge? You're handling. I'm it? I'm usually leading the charge because my friend get, letting my friends order would be like giving an ape the constitution <laughs> and telling them the fashion of effect of government. Like <laughs> my friends are idiots and they all mispronounce words uh, and they don't know yeah. anything and mm -hmm. oh, they're the googling feeling? shit. Yeah, I like it when you do when you do a steakhouse. You got to start with the shellfish tower if you can. Cold seafood that. tower. Cold seafood tower. Gentlemen. That's first. first thing to hit the table is a cold seafood tower. First thing. Boom, boom. Oyster, shrimp, lobster, crab, little clams, whatever. That's out. Cold appetizers are done. Oh, he's got <laughs> fucking cooking over Then there. you bring in the hot appetizers if you're going to do any of them. Maybe it's a warm goat cheese salad. Maybe it's a lobster bisque. It's not my business what you do. <laughs> 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 maybe it's a baked clams. Maybe it's a shrimp scampi. Whatever it is, it's, maybe it's a gorgonzola bread, a garlic bread with gorgonzola cheese sauce. Yeah, a little bit. But there's got to be a little hot appetizer. Yes, action. Just a little, a little nibble. Then there's a salad for the table. Then you hit the porterhouse for two, three, four, whatever. The au gratin, the line eight, whatever you want to do. Cream spinach. Cream spinach, broccoli, garlic, and oil, mm -hmm. asparagus, whatever. How's that steak cooked? I like rare, but on certain cuts, I'll go medium rare. Wow, you're a rare I'm man. I'm a rare guy, yeah. Sometimes I'll do a medium Can't rare. Can't teach that. Nope. Sometimes I'll do a medium rare. If it's a ribeye, the fattier a steak, the longer it should be cooked. So if you do a ribeye steak, really should be medium rare. A filet or anything like that is rare to black and blue. Sushi grade. Um, Damn. But a, wow. a bone in New York strip. Usually rare plus. That's the term. You go rare plus. Yeah. Meaning rare, but a little more than a little rare. Smidge. If you're doing a, a bone in strip, anything with a bone, you're going to do rare plus. Ribeyes, medium rare. Anything strip steaks, fillets, rare. To black and blue Pittsburgh style, which is sushi. <laughs> fucking laying it down. Everyone's fucking taking notes out there. Take yeah. notes. Jesus. Who in New York does that well Who? for you? 
Steak Just ask him flat out. What's your oh, favorite steakhouse favorite steak in New York? Steakhouse. Quality Meats is a, a one that yeah. I really like. But, I mean, I, I love Luger's and Old Homestead and Smith and & Walensky's and Strip House and Quality Meats and Quality Italian. I, I love, you know, Marea, which is a pasta restaurant, did a great 50-day age, Creekstone, but they're, not, they're no longer doing that cut anymore, which upsets me. Um, every, here's the thing about New York. Every single restaurant, French, Italian, everything, they have a great New York steak on the menu mm-hmm. if it's a good restaurant. Yeah. Every restaurant in New York City has a, usually a great New York strip on the menu. He didn't say ours. I know. You believe, which is yours, Keens? No, we haven't been to Keens yet. We're Gallagher's men. I've been to Gallagher's. I don't dislike Gallagher's. Ooh, that hurts. Damn. I don't dislike I, Gallagher's. Oh, shit. Where do we got to be going? We've been to quality meats. Yeah, I don't dislike Gallagher's. I think, again, for me... Steak is very similar. It's never about the steak. That's what that's what we were talking else. like. Hey, yeah. they all do a really good they steak. They all do a pretty good steak. They'll give a few points this way or that uh, what way. What I like about quality meats is they they have homemade ice creams. Their desserts are sick. Uh. Their shellfish tower is insane. <laughs> uh, their sides. They do a gnocchi and cheese instead of a mac and cheese, which yeah. is great. Yeah, quality meats was fantastic. Yeah, quality meats that is good. But, 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 but listen, I've though. gone to Gallagher's and it's good too. Yeah. Okay. You're um, on your way. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. Relax. Get over 100,000 on Patreon and call me. We're still good. doing medium well over here. Yeah. I don't know what. No, we're you learning. You don't do medium No, what are you, nuts? All right. All right. I was like, hold on. I just get up and leave. It's like, <laughs> call me a commie. What the yeah. fuck? Goddamn American. This is bullshit. Mm-hmm. What was the pet situation growing up? Was there any? Two cats. One named Sam. One named Mariner. Because the cat supposedly jumped off a boat and swam to shore. Jesus. <laughs> you know? Sam died and was like he, like frozen in a position, and my mother left it in the room for three days. Whoa! No dogs because my mother said she was allergic, but we found out that was a lie. <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus. Yeah. Rules with an iron fist over there. What are your thoughts on fish tanks? So it's there's a certain type of house that can really do it. Mm-hmm. Certain type. There's a certain part of the country. If I if I walk into an Arizona desert mansion. I want to see some tropical fish. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you've done well outside of Scottsdale, I want you to show me with brightly colored fish. Yeah. Show me a shark or something. Yeah, there's certain types of the country, certain parts of the country. New York, it should be not allowed. <laughs> you Unless you're in Long in Island. If you're in Long Island, it's, you might be able to get away with it. Florida, I'm big into it. Yeah. Okay. I'm big into a big fish tank in Florida, Palm Springs, California, out in the desert. Uh, uh, Arizona. These are where fish tanks are allowed. Okay. <laughs> are allowed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. <sighs> How do you feel about leftovers? I hate them. I hate um. I hate to go. I hate to go. It's a poverty mentality. My parents had it. My mother would scrape mashed potatoes into a coffee cup at a diner and walk out with it. In a coffee cup? Yeah. They would. That's what they give you. It's a, and they give you the, you know, the little, oh, tins like, a, like yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a poverty mentality of like that there will, you'll, you'll, there'll be more mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. I, so I, I don't love it. Now, I know some people like it. I've gotten arguments about this with people. This is a big topic on the show. I overeat. I've never eat yes. more yes. than you should eat. Yes. Nothing's as good the next day, no. really. No. Yeah. No. That's yes. why you have Finish fast it. food. I know fully you make your face. But that's why you have fast food. Fast food. Tell me, get this guy out of here. And delis, <laughs> here's the Throw deal. this bum out the door. <laughs> Delis and diners and fast food is for the next day. Yes. When you want something good, but you realize, all right, we're not going to go back to fucking the steakhouse, you go and get a nice deli sandwich. Yes. I'm a big, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be like the way it should be. Yeah, I don't want I don't have a problem I don't with rec- takeout. You want to do takeout, that's then just different. eat it all at home. Yes, that's different. But when you I don't the last you, you wake up the all, next day, it's like it, it's like gotta, shit. Yeah, you got a half a chicken breast and you're like throwing it on a pan it's like get the What about get pizza? Here. Cold pizza the next day. That's different. That's you're not pizza. taking pizza home though. You get pizza delivered. Yeah, you get pizza delivered. I take pizza home. Now you do uh if you do order in, right? Yeah. You you, you get it delivered or whatever, uh take Pizza's out. Pizza's also tough to reheat. It either gets Put it in the oven. It takes too long. Too long. This guy's crazy. Waiting 45 long. minutes for a slice of fucking it's pizza. Kick rocks. You put it in the microwave. It comes out. It's very foldy and hot, mm-hmm. but it's not. You yeah. know, it's the tough. cheese doesn't get there. You it's don't. Like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have a frozen pizza as a kid that you preferred? We didn't mind Delio's. <laughs> <laughs> Red Baron. Red Baron. Red Baron's all, all right. right. Yeah. yeah, gentlemen. Okay. But when you get when you do get takeout, will you plate it? 
It depends what it is. Okay. Uh, a lot of times, no. Just out of the container. Yeah, LA, uh, so many people, we do Postmates. Okay. I am so hungry. <laughs> By the way, I, I had nothing. I just, just go to Gallagher's. We'll change your I mind. Had, I had one cigarette, and then I ran out of matches. <laughs> oh, my, my God, what? dude. I don't know, because matches? You had too much money. I don't know where my lighter was, so I just had matches. I found them in a car. Ever find matches? You go. Dude, lifesaver. Fuck. And they, it was two matches. I'm like, first one burned out. I'm like, no. Oh, I'm in gotta, traffic. Then take I got a minute. the yeah. second match, and I got it. <clears throat> and then I was driving down here, and, I, and now we've just talked about food for an hour, and I'm like, motherfucker. I know. I would love to get a fucking steak. I know. You guys got to go to fucking Hartford unless <laughs> I take you somewhere. One what? day, well, I'm here for a while. I'm going to get you some. Yeah, yes. we'll do. Yeah. yeah, we'll do, we'll do a nice you, dinner. We're paying, somewhere. by the but way. But no, no, no. Here's the deal. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive you to Long Island. Ooh. Hey, I mean, don't, don't tease me, Timmy. I'll take you Long Island. <laughs> I'll take you to a strip mall Italian restaurant. It'll change your life. Is there, is, there, is there a particular a Giants few, jersey you want us to wear? For this? There's a few rules. There's a few rules. Oh, man. Donald Trump is still the president. Okay? <laughs> That's number one. My parents are coming. Does anybody is. Do you want the chicken cacciatore or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swear he's your president. Say it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's step into the bathroom for a second. Yeah. Do you pee in the shower? Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that would be insane. A lot of weirdos. Like, no. Crazy to not. What about brushing your teeth in the shower? I haven't done that. I don't really do that. Yeah. And okay. it's not a judgment it's, thing. It's I just, trashy, though. It I is. just don't do it. Mm -hmm. It's trashy. Yeah. What are we using? Do we got a bar? We have a... Uh, uh, body wash. Body wash. Any yeah. specific brand or just whatever's on I the shelf? I think it's usually like... Uh, uh, I have like a Dove sensitive skin bullshit thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not bad. Do you mess with any high-end self-care products? Keels or anything like that. Using anything like that. No, but every mask, now and then the I'll iPads. do like a panoxyl acne wash. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's Growing fair. up, it wasn't Dove body wash, I would assume, right? No, I'm trying to think what Bar it was. Soap, so my probably. grandmother used to have Dial, and that'll take your skin off. <laughs> I so love the dial. smell of that they shit. They used dude. that remember, on the space shuttle. Dude, remember Dial? Oh, oh my dude, God. Dial would that take, yellow bar. Dude, Dial would take your skin off. Mm -hmm. She was like a spider. She molted every <laughs> time she got out of the shower. <laughs> like an old lobster. She would get me Dove because she knew I had sensitive skin. Sure, that's okay. good. Because I have Irish skin. Yeah, so do I. So, so dry. She would use Dial. I would use Dove. Um, in terms of a shampoo, fuck. My mother was like Pantene. Okay. Pantene. It's not Pro bad. V. Um, they had a huge marketing campaign in the 90s. My grandmother, what the hell? Because I could picture a strawberry suave in your bathroom. I don't know my now. I just use like a dandruff shampoo, like a tea gel or something sure. like that, Nizerol. Um, but I'm trying to think what my grandmother used. My mother every now and then would fuck with a Vidal Sassoon, Ooh, herbal essence or something. Every now and then she'd Saw fuck a couple with Beanie that. Babies that week. Yeah, she'd fuck with a uh, something like that. Okay. Who would babysit you as a kid? Mostly your grandmother. My grandmother, and then like you know my my mother. Had this girl that she actually moved into her house for a few years named Dorothy, who was one of her like favorite swimmers from the swim team. And Dorothy came from an abusive family. Jeez. And my mother moved her in and she kind of babysitted me. Wait, hold on. She, she moved this girl into your yeah, house? Into my house. As you were growing up? As I was growing up. I was like uh, young, eight, something like that. How old was the girl? Oh, teens, 14, 15, 16. They moved her in. Yeah, she was from like an abusive relationship. A bad relationship. situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A not relationship, family. And her parents would beat her and stuff. And then she, like, you know, of course, she, like, used my mother for three years and then left and then never said anything. Again. You know what I mean? You know how people are. <laughs> you know how people are. Uh-huh. Um, any of the family extended immediate have standalone hot tubs at any point? Ooh, great question. You know, got, they got, like, 3,500 together. A couple that's it. married, no kids. It's on the back of a condo or something. I'm trying to remember if anyone had a standalone. Sitting on a loose deck. Probably never worked. Yeah. Fuck. I'm trying to remember. I did not immediately. I remember standing okay. on top. Okay. Any family members with birthdays that fall on a holiday? Any Christmas babies? Any New Year's babies? No. Okay. Anyone in your family ever own a PT Cruiser? No, not that I remember. Okay. What about a Hummer? Any Hummers in the family? No. Really? No Hummers. I'm stunned by that. My aunt worked for Mercedes, so she got people deals. Really? Nice. On things. Every now and then. Mm -hmm. Her family, the majority. Then they fired her. 
Mm-hmm. We got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which usually I happens talked to her I was buying, when the lease payments don't show I was buying a up. car, you know, like, you know, you start to do well. I go, I don't know if I want to get like an S600 or this. So I called her and she goes, I drive listen. a Kia, by the way. She goes, listen, she goes, I just, she goes, I was fired by Mercedes. And she goes, I'm here at Jaguar. And she goes, I'm probably, they're probably going to let me go here too. <laughs> What? She goes, but don't get one of these. These are not good. I'm like, yeah. okay, thank you. She's just being fired by every car. <laughs> every luxury car dealership on Long Island. Um, this is a big one on the show. Uh, you're going to a wedding, right? Not. I'm, I'm really never invited. I'm invited to so few weddings. Really? So few weddings. Hmm. I was a guy that was just like, I wouldn't go to a lot of weddings. And I had comedy. So of I course. would like. Just, you know, my best friend, I remember, I was supposed to go to his wedding. I, they had a drop out at Mohegan Sun. I told him, I said, dude, this is my, one of my it's, first headlining. I'm like, gotta I, have do to, it. I have to get in this rotation. Yeah. He totally understood. But I've been with you, so I could probably answer. I feel like now they got to be, this, you're going to be, be coming out of in. the woodwork. This May, your, your mailbox is going to be a, full. A lot of my friends are not getting married, and a lot of them have gotten married, and it's already failed. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just say it's a friend from high school, a cousin, not, not sure. like, you know, Ben or yeah. something like somebody kind of close, but whatever. Yeah. What's in that envelope? What are you given? Oh, interesting. Maybe a grand. Whoa. Oh, holy shit. I didn't want to know what you gave the kid. What you gave ben? your producer. Yeah, ben, ben probably got, did well. Ben got a lot of money. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would never. Okay, the ideas, fuck I would never. Yeah. I would never say what he got. Of course. Yeah, yeah we would have asked. You know, 50000 I gave him $50,000. <laughs> Literally, Are I gave him. Are you serious? I gave him fifty grand. Are you being. Tax free. Seriously. We, we structured it so it was tax free. Fifty grand. What, like 15 over the next three no, years? No, 50 or grand. Just I. Like, we structured it so it was a bonus without taxes for my business manager did it. <sighs> Holy shit. Wowza. Yeah. 50 G's. Timmy yeah. motherfucking Dylan yeah. playing ball. Well, I Does, love him and he's great. Of he course. Does, he's my family, but of you course. know. Does that like news- I said, I would never say the number. <laughs> it was a hundred thousand. I wouldn't say the number. Does that get around the wedding? Do you notice that? No, Maybe a half I hour, 45 minutes deal. I'm sick of giving people shit. And not talking about yes. it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you fucking mean. I'm a little sick of it. So maybe you'll get around now. <laughs> <laughs> are you garbage? What are you going to do? I got a $1,500. Hey, here's a question. Are you garbage? Do you give your best friend a present and then talk about it on a popular <laughs> podcast in hopes that other people hear it? Also, That's a good question. You structured it as a bonus. I love that. Yeah, Let yeah, me talk to bonus. my guy. Yeah, it's a bonus. Yeah. Um, God damn. damn. A, a jihad's good. A thousand's good. Yeah. Wow, that's is that a hug? Is that a hug when he finds out? Yeah, he's autistic, but it's, <laughs> it's a hug. You know I mean? Holy shit. Man. <laughs> Plus keeping a tax man out of it. I even yeah, like yeah. that, too. Yeah. Why let them with their Structured beach? But in, a bonus. in fairness, they got me a book about spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I love It's fun. <laughs> no, of right? course. This oh, is what dude. the show is. This is fucking Also, yeah, too, uh, what is... Obviously, you don't have to. I mean, you're, you don't have to say the person or whatever. What is the most amount of money someone has asked you to borrow? Uh, really, I've never gotten that. Really? Yeah. As of late, you're not never. paying anybody's legal fees or medical bills or anything right now. No. I no feel one's like hitting you up. He does walk around with you know the answer is probably going to be no. Yeah. I was going to ask you. My <laughs> friends, are, my friends are drug addicts. Sure. So they all, it's I know it's for drugs. Mm-hmm. It's not like my friends like I got a good business idea. Yeah. It's drugs. It's drugs. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's all drugs. Trying it's to get a couple all, of white pies over here. It's, <laughs> trying to get a couple of investors in this eight it's ball. What do you think? All <laughs> drugs. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right. So hmm. it's not even like I'm a dick because I would help people if they if they like. It's like I they will die. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Huh. How about cruises? What do you feel about them? Hate him, <laughs> hate him, hate him, but only because I, I, I took the Impractical Jokers cruise <laughs> and I performed on it. And uh, yeah, I just, the thing with me and cruise, I don't like, I like being near the land. Sure. If I'm on a boat, I like to see the land. Of course. I don't like to be out in the middle of a, uh, with, with like, who, where's the doctor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where's, where's the doctor? Dude, no shit. Like, what? Where's yeah. the doctor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get nervous. 
How many lawyers are on this boat? Yeah. That's what I want to know. I get nervous. There's 1,580 year olds eating fondue. <laughs> Where's the doctor? <laughs> uh, preferred Benedict. Would it be traditional, salmon, crab cake, or Florentine? And is there a right answer? And how do you feel about the eggs Benedict as a whole? Lobster black truffle. Wow. What? <laughs> You think he was going to say fucking crab cake? We got Tim fucking Dylan in Lobster, black truffle, Benedict? At the peninsula. I was going to say, where does a gentleman like that get something like that? Yeah, I like a lobster, black truffle. But I love a smoked salmon. My actual favorite one, not trying to, I'm just, you know, is the smoked salmon. Benedict is my favorite. Okay. Lox, Benedict is my favorite. Hmm. But here's what's really good. Um, truly, like I've had a lot of different kind of Benedicts. <laughs> <laughs> Cumberbatch, all of them. <laughs> Name another podcast where somebody says yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Name one. I've had a lot of Benedicts. Yeah. I've had a short rib Benedict. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. I mean, I've had, like, obviously the crab cake Benedict, the lobster black truffle. I've had a smoked salmon Benedict. Mm -hmm. I've had the California eggs Benedict. So the California eggs Benedict, you add avocado and tomato and replace a Canadian bacon with real bacon, American I'm bacon. I'm in. I like it. I had one in Philly not too long. We, we did a show in Philly and went to, I think it's called like Green Eggs or something. Pretty good yeah. restaurant. And they did a cheesesteak one, Philly cheesesteak one. Yeah. Woo! Pull yeah. my fucking hair Love back. Love a hollandaise sauce. Yeah. Only great. second to the Bernays sauce, obviously. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, something else. Do you think it's acceptable at a breakfast, instead of getting home fries, French fries are okay? What do you think? Yeah, my mother did that all the time. French fries lightly cooked. Lightly, lightly cooked. cooked. She loved lightly cooked French fries. I don't know what what Whoa. was wrong. What are you? Are you a? I don't care. French fries to me, I'm whatever. They're okay. there. I eat them. I don't care. Sure. Hmm. Not you can't be too picky. I've Even if they're bad, been, I'm eating them. I love a mashed. Ooh. Like a mashed potato. Yeah. Like to me, home and feeling good mm -hmm. is a is a garlic mash or a little loaded mash or a gorgonzola mash. Or to me, it's I need you know that warmth of mm -hmm. the French fry to me is my KFC ain't too shabby with the mashed potatoes. It's a nice gravy. mashed potato. It's not bad. Uh, how do you feel the about Chateau the Chateau uh, mashed potatoes at Del Frisco's are amazing. Is that with the cheese in it and little chopped peppers? Ooh, oh boy, take me home, country <laughs> roads. <laughs> how do you feel about the twice baked potato? Like it? It's very catering hall. Yeah, sure. It's a catering hall staple, and I don't mind it. You do a few off the top and then throw it. And get the <laughs> yeah, get one. another one. <laughs> you yes. just got to do the yeah. top. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. It's a catering hole. It's a chicken frances, penne alla vodka, eggplant rollatini, mm -hmm. twice baked potato, little steak tips. Chicken marsala or something. Yeah, a couple yeah. of free drinks. You bang a couple of Marby lights on the patio <laughs> and you get out of there. I just did that and a... you get out of there. Dude, I just did that exactly at a funeral. <laughs> you get in and get out. Yeah. Huh. I, got, I mean, I only got one or two left, I think. Okay. I got another three hours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we haven't even got into dessert yet. I don't know where the fuck anybody thinks they're fucking going. I never. I don't know when I'm going to get this kid back here. This is our 200th episode. I'm laying up in bed thinking really about it. Like we're like 2-0 something. Amazing. I've never. I mean, I've never. You've met your match in how yeah. you two talk about food. Oh. It's like well, it's an ad, you, you know, blink ad, like sharks. It's the a, eyes roll back. It's like Pacino and De Niro in heat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. It's coming from the mentality of an addict. Yeah, you know, it's I, I you know, you get into it. One hundred percent. You're an addict talking That's about drugs. Yeah. they really go into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't. It's drugs not just. Room. It's not just heroin. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cobblers. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> feel like a cobbler, right? I enjoy a cobbler. My problem with a cobbler, and this Again, has been something- that has never yeah, been said yeah. anywhere well, else. Listen, we've had a nice time so far. Don't yeah. fucking ruin it now. But my problem with a cobbler is there's such a variance. You either know what you're doing when you make one, or, you know, my aunt will bring a cobbler and you go, what did you- Sue? Yeah. <laughs> Sue? It's just crumble cookies. What'd you do here? Yeah. You're watching OANN <laughs> screaming about QAnon. You're not paying attention. <laughs> you just crumble- You burned the peaches. Yeah, you put a couple of oatmeal cookies in a blender and threw them on top of some cherries because mm. you're screaming about Hillary Clinton eating babies. <laughs> Follow the rest. <laughs> Take the it's time. On the box. <sighs> oh, oh man. god damn. That was one I had. Have you ever done the recipe on the box of anything? Um Are you a you, cook? Are you cooking much? I can cook pretty good. Really? If I want, I can really cook. Cooking at the house? I make a one thing, I make three things. I make a chocolate souffle really what? good. Whoa. I can kill a chocolate That's souffle. crazy. How would you learn to do that? It's the one thing I learned when I was a young kid. Hmm. Who taught souffle. you that? I don't know. Just I'd watch a lot of the food shows, yeah. and it's just whipping egg whites. You fold yeah, in the chocolate, yeah, yeah, you put it going. in a water bath, 
And have you ever had a chocolate? It's the greatest thing you'll ever I have. I had a vanilla souffle not that long ago in yeah. Paris. It's, it's, well, excuse me. <laughs> I, uh, I, That's patreon.com slash are you garbage, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting to say Paris for the last hour. <laughs> when, when, when me and you say the word Paris, it just sounds like it should be followed up with somebody going, license and registration. <laughs> The question was license <laughs> and registration. Yeah, we're in Paris. <laughs> Sir, um, do you own this car? What was the question? I just blanked out. Yeah, we were talking about souffles. You maybe. make a oh, souffle. Oh, yeah, so I make a souffle. I make really good scrambled eggs because it's just going How do you do slow. it? Low and slow. Slow with American cheese. Low and slow low is and the way. Slow. American cheese. Yeah, I love the American cheese. There, it's an egg cheese. Cheddar is not to be on. And by the way, it's an egg cheese. American cheese is for I eggs. Know what it's that for is. burgers. It's so much. It's better on burgers. Yeah. Cheddar is for potatoes. Cheddar is for Mexican <laughs> food. It's for potatoes. <laughs> or it's for eating raw sharp cheddar with sharp ham. Cheddar, yeah. But American cheese, people say, oh, it's not a cheese. Nothing's anything. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Take that, Reddit. Ooh. Uh, burger cheese, you just said. Are, are you a smash burger or thick patty guy? Well, if I'm in New York, I do a New York Steakhouse burger where, of course, I have a thick slice of tomato well, on where, it. of course. And, uh, you know, I, I do like a big, thick burger with ground sirloin. It's nice. You put a nice tomato, a little white onion, ketchup, some cheese. But if I'm in L.A., I'm smashing it up. We're doing the patties. We're doing the Cali style. When in Rome. Yeah. When in Rome. What is the most money you've spent on a hamburger? What's the most expensive burger you've had? Maybe twenty five dollars or something. It's not bad. It's not, not bad. that bad. That place in Chicago. That's all that is. Is twenty five bucks? Is that oh, where Cheval? it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that expensive. That's oh, not bad. Did you do a Manetta? Yeah, it's overrated. Whoa. Yeah. That first Manetta, then Gallagher's. This I guy's am the real out. deal, man. Yeah. You're I fucking. Mean, I you're, like, you're shattering mirrors. Over I there. like I Manetta. The black label is good, but it's not what it was. Sure. I'll take you to the bar in Freeport, Long Island called The Helm that's got a better burger than all this <laughs> no, shit. We got to just no, no, clear I'll one day and we'll do getting... three meals Long out Island Long Island. Long Island is the best food in the country. No, no, no. I'll take you to a strip mall Italian that's better than three-star restaurants in New York. You just said that like I'm Giannis. not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, literally, the duck's really good out there. Very I mean, famous. no, Long yeah, Island's yeah, yeah. got some food that'll yeah, yeah, yeah. blow you away if you know where to go. Mm. How do you feel about turtlenecks? Not for me. <laughs> not for bigger I guys. I don't love yeah, them. Yeah, you can't do it. Um, how do you feel about the rotisserie chicken from like a supermarket? Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, it's healthy. I know. Healthy. <laughs> <laughs> if, gonna, if you want to be healthy. Your family ever buy shit off TV? Any wrong color? Remember to play like that? My mother was insane with QVC <laughs> for years. Yeah. I'd walk in, she'd be like scribbling into a pad at 1 a.m. I'd be like, because by the way, after Three easy payments. After midnight, QVC, they start marketing to, they know who's watching. Yeah, they know, they know the crazies they, are They up. know who's out. So my mother would be like, shh. And I'd be like, what's going on? She goes, it's Jacqueline Kennedy's engagement. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm sure it's not, but. 99.99. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to go out for butts. <laughs> Still got yeah, blood yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, see you later. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean. I hope this was a, a, a fun. Uh, this is. This uh, so are you kidding fun. me? This was I it, man. I hope this was worth it. Of course, of course. I've been this waiting was, a long time. This is fantastic. Am I garbage? We don't know. <laughs> it's so hard. It's such a. It's so close. You all, I mean, it's I such you, a photo finish. You. That's uh, what, here, but in the first three minutes, you called Percocet Percadoos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perca all right. Nice Percadoodle do. Yeah. Here's the thing. I. I I'm garbage, but I've maybe ascended well, a little. You've well, you ascended, know where. Ascend, no, not even ascended a little. You have an inherent inside of you. You have high taste. You 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 have a. Yeah. An you can walk palette. in both worlds. That's right, Daywalker man. Yeah, you it's are. crazy in such a way that that blows me away. Well, like I would be full confident to walk into the most you know classy, expensive situation with you leading the way. Yeah. You know how to handle yourself at a cocktail party out in the fucking Hamptons. Yeah. You know how to fucking talk to people and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know I I can I can do it. But then I you also like it. a strawberry quick every but once in a while. Every there's nothing better than a bacon, egg, and cheese and a Nestle quick. Oh, there's that just, is, that's the trashiest thing I think has ever been said. That was that was my last question. What is your go to chocolate milk? Nestle quick I love. Was that what you had as a kid? Yes. Was it's it the powder I, you it's, got? It's, no, it was the, the little you quick. The you got the bottles. Um, That's pretty classy as a kid. I though. like it because to me, I remember believing that that bunny mm -hmm. cared <laughs> about the product. 
You know what I mean? Now you look at the mascots, you know they don't give a shit. Yeah. They're just in it for the money. They're in it for the money now. <laughs> that Honey Nut Cheerio beat was really going for it. Uh, but to me, I love... But so, y- here's also the reality. I also like a Hershey's. Of course. I love What's Hershey's. your favorite chocolate That's bar? That's the correct Just answer. chocolate. No Snickers, like a chocolate bar. Hershey's. Just a Hershey's bar straight Hershey's. up. Favorite fruity candy? Hmm. Skittles, Starburst? Runts? Dots? No, I'm going to go with it. Dots? Get out of here. I'm going to go. What's the chewy one? High Chew? Squishy Chewies. High Chew? No. Starburst. It's, it's, Mike uh, and Ike's. It's, uh, they're like little. What do they say? Square? <laughs> Give me Sorry. something here. Yeah. Yeah. They're like. <laughs> they're shaped like gushers, maybe? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I, don't really I can't eat, believe you couldn't pull I'm, that. I'm it was not, like you were possessed for a I'm second. I'm not a huge candy guy. Yeah. Really? Not a huge candy guy. What's your problem with lava cake, too? You don't like lava cake. This has been bothering him for 18 months. It's been bothering me for a long time. I got a bone to pick with you, buddy. Is lava cake good, or are they just chewing you on the cake? <laughs> <laughs> and there's the first cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the clip. There are you go. They just, Barry, Weiss, Barry Weiss says I can. <laughs> um... I, I if don't fill a cake with something unless don't fill a cake with something that runs away. Yeah, that's not as good as the cake. Yeah, what are we doing? Just make a hot chocolate cake. Give me some ice cream. Mm-hmm. Cut it out. Yes. There's nobody that's had a great hot chocolate cake in one. But why doesn't it melt away? Mm-hmm. Why yeah. is it sixty percent of this gone? Yeah. Why doesn't it I don't know? The ones at Domino's are pretty goddamn last good. Last night, you want let, let me let me show you. Let me show you what we did last night. Because we were, we were being inappropriate. <laughs> and I want to show you what we did last night. Because you have to... Hold on, ready? You have to see this. Whoa! Holy shit. We're a quality Italian, okay? And we're doing a s'mores. We're doing a tiramisu cake. What's that? Blood orange gelato. That's a chocolate olive oil cake. We're being chocolate olive uh, That's how you do it. You just you order everything for the table. Everything for the table. For the table. For the Espresso table. afterwards? Yeah, and then when... The, I don't drink it, but when the, when the, I used to, but I don't... And when the women go to eat, you, very, you judge them harshly. You go... Mm. When they go to eat, you go, and that way just the men will split it. And then the women get like a fork full and then go. Yeah, hey. Easy. Then you say something like that, like, you, you want more? I thought you had some already. <laughs> and then yeah. they're shamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Mr. Tim Dillon. Home Thank run. You. Home fucking run. Thank you so 100% much. 100% garbage. Thank you so but much. But the most eclectic garbage that could possibly Good garbage. Yeah. One man's trash is another man's <laughs> S-trucks. <laughs> Uh, what do you got cooking? What anything you want Typical to put on? com. We've got a tour that we're winding up. We're shooting a special in March in Denver. We're announcing that tomorrow. Awesome. We've got some cool uh, venues, a Ryman Theater coming up in uh, Nashville and a bunch of other stuff. And this is the end of the tour. And then I hop off tour in March and I chill for four months. Love it. Stay on the internet. There you go. <laughs> any plans? Any big vacations? Anything like that? No. Or does Timmy like to, to relax a little bit? I don't know. I like going to Florida a lot. <laughs> I love Florida. Yeah. That's trash. Well, that puts you over it. the top right there. Yeah, I love Florida. <laughs> I just love it. I don't need... I get It's tropical Where do you enough. Like, where do you go? I go like a lot of West Coast, uh, St. Pete Beach, Clearwater. I was just there. St. Pete Beach. I was talking to Ben it. about it. We did the Don yeah. Cesar. Yeah, I love the Don Cesar. Class. And they're really? all the time. Class. All the time. Though. This guy's fucking everywhere. He was making fun of me. Class. I was like, Tim Dillon stays No, I love the Don Cesar. Nice. It's a great thing. It's expensive, but nice. It's great. Yeah. They didn't have a staff for about eight months. I know. They were, they, were, they, they were a little under the water. <laughs> they were a little under the water. It was like one guy <laughs> running fucking fried grouper sandwiches to everybody. Poor guy, but... Yeah. Now every they cut the funds. Right. Everybody's <laughs> coming back to work. Everybody's discovered their passion for customer service. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tim Dillon. Yeah, thank you. Timmy, Kippy, thank what you. do you got for him? Just check out Patreon. We're on the road. We're all over the fucking country. Go get some fucking tickets. At Ken Ryan Comedy on all social media. Do it. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.